Looking for fast, cheap, and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. Head on over to MuttReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we're going to go over Team of the Week, Week 11 predictions, guys. Now, I'm super excited. I love doing Team of the Week predictions. Now, to be quite honest with you guys, this is probably one of the more lackluster weeks in recent memory. Like, this was like, if you guys play fantasy football at all, and you guys have seen the score in your league, you probably know scores are down across the board this week. Like, no one really had, like, a crazy week. Like, quarterbacks, doesn't even matter who. No one really went over the top in fantasy. No one really went over the top in real life. They played well in real life. They played good to win, but not enough to do anything crazy on the stat line. So this is going to be a weirder week to predict. But still excited to do so now. For today's Poodle Squad, shout out before we get into the video, guys. Shout out to Locust Tromp being a part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you so much for showing support each and every video. Now, if you guys haven't already, you guys want to enter the Poodle Squad, all you got to do is like the video down below. Comment down below Poodle Squad and turn on that noti bell. Once you do all that, you're entered to be shouted out in the Poodle Squad. But moving on, guys, let's get into these predictions now. And, of course, we have our six lower set guys. We have our legend heroes. We have our current hero and our LTD current. There's plenty to go over. There's, like, it's like 10 players right there, I think, exactly. So, let's start, let's start the auction block. I'm going to go over the ones that I like, the lower set guys. I think could get a usable card. So, I'm going to start with the bottom, which is going to be... he. This guy just got a card, but, again, these are just going to be power-up cards, like power-up plus ones. And that's going to be Cameron Jordan. Now, Cameron Jordan... Cameron Jordan had a pretty good week. So, Cameron Jordan currently has the 86... Um, I mean, sorry, the 90, the 90 cauldron player. So, again... Gonna be hard to predict the stats entirely because you can't see him here, but he had let's see, he had three sacks, so that's that's, that's a pretty good game for any end. Um, he'll probably be with his new card, similar except I think this new card's block shed could he could maybe get his block closer to a 90 as well as his power move above a 90 already on the 90. So it really depends on the 90 stats. I don't think he's gonna be you know a meta card by any means, so that's why I'm not gonna spend too much time on it. But still, next we got Taki Taki, three tackles and a pick six. I think we get another lower set card. Olivier Vernon, three sacks and five tackles. Another guy I think will get it. But again, none of these guys will be meta cards. Next, we got Adam Thielen. Now, Adam Thielen had 123 yards and two touchdowns. Now, Adam Thielen, let's see what he's looking like here. So, obviously, I don't think he'll be a meta card. He has a 90 overall, though. So, if he gets a plus one on top of a power up, it'll be a 92 overall, which means he'll get to a 90 speed. So, 90 speed is not bad. His catch and trap will be a 90. His, medium, his short running will be above 90. His medium running will be one short and his deep. So, more than likely, guys, Adam Thielen will only hit a medium or deeper earning threshold depending on which uh, cams you go with him. So that kind of does hurt him more, even more than his speed does. Next, guys, we have Keenan Allen. Now, Keenan Allen had a really good day as well. Um, him and Herbert have just been linking up all season. Herbert, Ever since Herbert took over, him and Keenan Allen have had just a great, great, great connection, quite honestly. Now, Keenan Allen currently, I believe he has a... He has a well, the thing with Keenan Allen, he has a... Um, I believe he has a team of the week plus one already but added on to that i can't really check the stats that way but added on to that and he's going to have a pretty good card now gonna be too slow gonna be Devonte adams s you know how that kind of works already and then for our final guy we do have melvin gordon now melvin gordon is of course in the broncos now so had a pretty good day on the ground he had a hundred and uh no sorry he had 84 yards and two touchdowns and melvin gordon currently has a 93 overall so i think it could be just a plus one on here which would be super awesome now i don't know if they'll do it right because if they give him a plus one on here that means he gets up to a 95 overall. If Melvin Gordon gets up to a 95 overall, that means he'll have a 92 speed, which is kind of sad, right? 95 overall, and he's still not the fastest guy in the game. 92 speed, he'll have over like a 91 Excel, 91 agility, 94 carrying, 94 change direction. I mean, none of his stats get crazy, but it'll still be a 95 overall, which will be super good. But pretty much it for that, guys. Now, let's get to my legend heroes. Now, for my legend heroes, I do expect us to get a Teddy Bruschi as our first legend hero. And um, I believe that was like 2002. Teddy Bruschi for the Patriots. Now, Teddy Bruschi would probably have that Bobby Wagner feel. Like, you know, like, not the fastest, but very, very fundamental. Teddy Bruschi had a touchdown, seven tackles, and a, a pick six was a touchdown. So, Bobby Wagner has 85 speed. So, I think Teddy Bruschi would probably have, like, an 87 speed or an 86 speed. And he'd probably be very similar. Like, good hit power, um, good block shed. Maybe decent zone. He'd probably be very well-rounded, similar to Bobby Wagner. Because I feel like that's how they make Teddy Bruschi cards. He wasn't the most athletic on the field, but he, again, he was, he was big, tall, and could do just about everything. I see him being very, very, very similar build to Bobby Wagner. Next, uh, this next back we have now, we did see him last year. This back was pretty good last year. He was a team diamond. You guys probably remember him for the Saints. You know, put your guesses down below. Like five seconds as I get over there. But he could be pretty good. He's like a nice little mix of a back. And that's going to be Deuce McAllister for the Saints. He had 173 yards and two touchdowns. I don't know how they're going to build him. I imagine he's probably going to be somewhere in the Aaron Jones range, like not going to be the best running back. Probably going to have modest speed, well-rounded back all around, modest excel. 
173 yards and two touchdowns. Really good. So he had a great week. Him and Bruce shared my two legend heroes that I think we could see as our, you know, our throwbacks. Now, of course, I think either one of the guys we met up, probably not, sadly, because that's just how the, the nature of this goes. But next, guys, the next card we're going to get. Now, this is a guy that definitely deserves an upgrade. He's having a tremendous season. He's having an MVP-type season, despite, you know, he's not going to get any votes for it. Definitely going to get Offensive Rookie of the Year, probably, and that is Justin Herbert. Justin Herbert is an 88. No power-up, though, so I'm hoping they do add a power-up to him. But as of now, guys, he has a plus on his power-up two times now. So he goes us to an 88, which is going to be an 89. And then if he gets this card, it'll be a 90. So that's when he gets a power-up. Now, he doesn't have a power-up yet. Now, I'm hoping for Wild Card Wednesday we do end up seeing that. He really needs to get a card here for him to become a really good card because, again, like I said, let's say that his power up was at an 89. Now let's let's predict that up to if he gets this week's card, which is supposed to be a 92. If he gets a 92 overall card, that's a plus four. And then if I had a power up, which I don't think he's gonna get a power up just yet, he could go in for wild card ones maybe. But let's just say he gets a plus four. His throw power would be now. If we're looking at him as the um, the hero, he probably ends up with a throw power of at least I have to say 96, right? He has a 96 throw power above 90 short. He probably ends up with like an 86, 87 medium, and then an 85, 86 deep. Which now means you have to pick. You want to go deep or medium with him. If you pick either one, you end up with either one of those thresholds. And then obviously his speed probably ends up being like an 85, 86. So he ends up being pretty good well round. He does need a power up though. With the power up, he will be a lot better. It really just depends on if they give it to him. But Herbert definitely would be a really, really good quarterback option. And yeah, like I said, like he will get 99 throw power cammed up. So he's gonna be super super he's just always he's a strong arm quarterback. Who would have knew, right? I've been hearing about Herbert since I was probably like in high school. I, they were always talking about him like that was like the quarterback that everyone said was going to be you know, really good out of college. And hopefully the Giants get him. And then as the draft got closer, people weren't talking about him like that anymore. Now it was Burrow or Tua. And Herbert was like, you know, they saw him as a project now. No longer like a guaranteed thing. And here we are. And he looks like the most guaranteed thing of the three. Now, it's not to say that. No, the other ones aren't bust. You know, like, it's not like to say that. But so far, production-wise, it's got to be Herbert. But the other ones look good as well. So far, it's looking like a good quarterback class. But, you know, that remains to be seen. We'll know the answers to that in five years. You know, one year doesn't mean anything. We've seen RG3. We've seen guys who start off hot and flame out. Of course, injuries, you know, that, that, that can hurt anyone. Hopefully not all of them stay healthy. Sadly, Burrow got hurt already, but I think he'll be okay. Next is Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill is one of those guys that hasn't gotten an upgrade all year. He's been, we've been waiting for an upgrade for Tyreek Hill for quite a while now. I don't know what it is, but it's taking forever. They, I don't know. I've, I mean, that's the issue, right? So I want to say team of the week, but the only issue there is like, why would they wait all this time just to give him a team of the week card? You know what I mean? So maybe they're saving for Blitz. Not sure yet, but if Tyreek Hill does get an upgrade, guys, he will be a 93 overall, plus a power point, he'll be a 94 overall. So a plus 7 overall on Tyreek Hill. We're probably looking at a 95 speed. I have to imagine 95 speed because, or maybe 94. 94 or 95 speed is what I'm imagining on this card. Um, deep route running is going to be well above a 90, like a 94, 93. I do expect his medium route running to be like an 87, 86. And I expect his short to be like an 87, 86 as well, somewhere in that range. So, of course, I think he will get the medium and deep route running threshold on this next card. So that's all I really care about. And then the spec, hat traffic, everything will be probably like mid to high 80s. But the speed is what's going to matter here, guys. He's going to have crazy speed. He's going to have above 90 juke. Going to have a well above 90 change of direction. I'm um, going to have well above 90 uh, ball carry vision. Going to have, let's see, break tackles going to be above an 80. This card's going to be insane. I really hope we do end up seeing a Tyree Kill because a Tyree Kill card would literally break the game with that speed that he will end up actually seeing. Now, could they go even crazier with a 96? I doubt it. I think, I think 95 is the max and 94 is like the floor, right? Or 93 as a base card and then the power gets into a 94 is kind of what I'm imagining here. Or 94 is the base card up to a 95 with the power. That's kind of how I see this. I don't see the card itself getting the 95 speed. It would have to start as a 94. But it would be nice to see him get that now. He had 200. Uh, he had 200. Let's see. I believe it was 215 yards and a touchdown in this week. Week 11. I think it was last year. Or could have been the year before that. Either 2018 or 2019. But he had an insane week. And that's, that's a good week for a receiver. It's over 200 yards and two touchdowns. He had a great week. He probably, he probably, I mean, there was probably a game too, which, you know, if you go back in other weeks where he had a punt return and a kick return and a regular touchdown, you know, he had, he's had some crazy weeks. So hopefully we see Tyreek Hill. That would be one of the most banger cards in a while. Um, Cause you know, that's just, when you, when you break the speed barrier by one to two spots, you know, you're, you're going to be one of the best cards in the game. But guys, that pretty much wraps up today's video. That does conclude our team of the week, week 11 predictions. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you're new to the channel, you want to join the Poodle Squad, uh, like the video, turn on the noti bell, and comment down below Poodle Squad. And also, if you guys need coins, pick up any Team of the Week stuff tomorrow, or just in general for Autumn Blast, or the Blitz promo that will be coming 8 p.m. on Thanksgiving night, head on over, uh, head on over to MoReserve.com, use code Poodle for 15% off your order, uh, take advantage of all the discounts, and pick up some coins. Yeah, but that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.